<clears throat> Alright there guys, uh, obviously it's me again. I've been gone for, um, three weeks, yeah. It's probably my, the longest time I've gone without uh, uploading, but it's fine. Uh, showing you how to install the newest LSPDFR, which is 0.4.9, build 8382. Um, the, um, okay. So, what you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is go head on over to lcpdfr.com and find LSPD First Response. And so right here, agree and download. <laughs> now okay so there's two installs here i'm gonna be going over the manual install since i believe the manual install is the best way to avoid any glitches or any crashing issues that the setup.exe may cause so uh for this tutorial i'm gonna be using the manual install so go ahead and download the manual install what the hell okay so once it's done downloading you're gonna see a whole bunch of files here or a whole bunch of you know well um Crap, files I just call it files so all right so in order to do this you're gonna want to highlight everything in here and I mean absolutely everything in here so um, including the rage plugin hook.exe uh, so the things that I want you to de to not the things that I want you to um, not drag and drop into your main directory is the RPA tree me since you really don't need that unless you want to have it but that's all you and then also um Highlight plugins on LSPDFR. There's no need to highlight licenses. So once you've got that highlighted, head on over to your main directory, which I already have pinned. So for me, it's um, if you have two drives, it might be in the other one. But for me, it's local disk C, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5. So once you've got that, once you've got that, um, once you've got these uh, how well, once you've got these files highlighted. Just drag and drop all of them into the into your main directory. I'm not gonna do it because I already have my stuff dragged in and I already have plugins and I really don't feel like installing them or installing my you know plugins again. So yeah. So once you've got once you've got once you once you get done with that, um, <clears throat> you're done for the LSPDFR part. However, what you're gonna need to do is you're, what you're gonna want to go ahead and do is <coughs> you could either sorry <coughs> you could either um search up rage plugin hook discord and it put probably would appear yeah it should be on their website yeah join our discord and then yeah so once you're here you know go through announcements get your roles whatever you know get your roles so that way you can start modding your game you know getting support oh yeah this is the number one discord you want to go for uh, you want to go to for support like it's one of them one of the better ones um, And there's been, there's been a lot of support recently because well update day so <clears throat> Once you're here you're gonna see once you've here and once you're here and you verified you know I've done whatever you got your roles You're gonna see a few channels in un, under the category server so go ahead and click on necessities once you're at necessities you're gonna see a whole bunch of list of stuff such as cars links heap adjuster cars and plugins rage plug oh this is making me mad can't talk all right so yeah obviously as you can see here yesterday at 2:18 p.m rage plugin hook for grand theft auto 5 28.2 or 2802.0 um so their website has been broken for quite a while if you look up here if you look at um if you look at gta you're gonna see that um the latest one was 2372 and that was literally a year ago so uh, obviously if you go onto there and you download it it's not gonna be compatible since that we're already like a couple versions ahead so go into their discord you click download or no okay yeah continue to download oh, well there goes opera i guess And then you open this up see all these files again it's the same exact files as the one in the lspdfr <coughs> now i pretty much just dragged and dropped this entire thing as well and it repl and i replaced it uh you don't you don't need the sdk or the licenses so nor the readme so once you've got these files highlighted just drag and drop them into your main directory and you're done for the lspdfr and you're done for the rage plugin hood. now moving on to the script hook v part Alright, so, um, surprisingly, Scriptic V updates way quicker now. 
but then again, it used to like not update that that frequently. But the, but then again, that uh, the creator lives in Ukraine, so you know, pray for him as well. Because all the internet out outages and whatnot. But I'm not gonna get into detail about that. So obviously, 18th of December 2022, which was yesterday, it added support for 28.2 or 28.2. So once you're here, just click this blue download button. Or okay, so go to AB Software Development or just search up Scriptic V. And you should see, you know, GTA 5, GTA 4, GTA San Andreas. Click on GTA 5, script V, and then just click download. Once you've got that downloaded, um, just go ahead and uh, there's going to be three files. Read me, devc.com, and then bin. Double, cl double left click on bin. And you're only going to need two files in here. script view.dll and dinput8.dll. Uh, you can install native trainer if you'd like, but I already have my own trainer that I Personally like using so I'm not gonna install it So once you're here all you really need to do is just drag and drop these into your main directory I already have them in there and that's it. Also um, uh, Some of you are probably wondering. Oh, hey, what if I want to play online? But I don't know I don't want to remove all my mods, but you can simply just remove input 8.dll for example Just go in here search up input and then just right click on it and then delete and then it, it'll be in your recycle bin you can just drag it out of your recycle bin back into your main directory when you're ready to play mods again so that's pretty much just a basic tutorial on how to do the three most basic things um this one this was just a small video because you know i owed it to you guys since i've been gone for like three weeks but that's pretty much just the gist of what you got to do in order to you know that's pretty much the majority of the things you need to install when there's a big when there's a new update and you know things get updated and you know it's, it's chaos but um yeah that's it for now i guess um thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace